Hi, Phil Aston here from Nas Penny Magazine with episode six of Chart Watch and a slightly different format for this as I kind of tweak the um, program. And thank you very much for everybody who gave me some input on what you think of this little um, weekly segment, which I'm going to keep going um, for a while longer. I did say I was going to maybe move it to being monthly, but I think what I'll do is I'll just basically jump on and talk about what's going on in the UK album charts and new releases based on what I can find or what I think will be of interest to you, my subscribers, readers and listeners. So this is week 40 in the UK and in the album chart um, this this week straight in number one is Slipknot. Um, so I'm going to talk about that. I also want to talk about some of the stats behind the number two position, which is George Michael's older album, which is the Super Deluxe Edition, which has gone straight in at number two. And the other thing I'll probably just talk about briefly is Roger Taylor's uh, entry with his solo album, which has gone in at number 46. Now, I've talked about the kind of sales figures for UK albums and people obviously saying, gosh, the numbers are so different and low than what we're used to. To put that in perspective, everything now really is about the song, the track, the single. Um, and so the, the, the singles chart in the UK, the number one will have about the equivalent of about 60,000 sales streams to get to that. So that is really where a lot of the action is anyway. So we'll just look now at the album chart itself. So Slipknot, I should remind myself, I've, I've been playing this and if you like Slipknot, it's as good as anything they've done, which is um, Slipknot The End. And this has sold 14,068 units. So again, I kept mentioning Aussie, but he would have got to number one if he'd released it this week. And that's 7,873 CDs, 2,091 vinyl albums, 189 cassettes, and 1,910 downloads. Well, that, that download figure's quite high, um, higher than I would expect it to have been, really. Um, so that's 24 years after their first album came out. Um, so that's great for Slipknot straight in. And I bet you next week we'll see it probably retreating in the opposite direction. Now I wanted to mention um, George Michael's Super Deluxe Edition. I mean, because this first came out, I think, in 1996. And this has sold uh, 13,726 copies. So almost got it to number one. So Slipknot only just slipped over the finishing line for that. And um, this is heavily skewed towards vinyl, not CD. Um, so what are we looking at here? We've got, yes, 12, 12,500, 12,600 to be precise. Of that, 13,700 were vinyl copies, the vinyl copy of the box set. Um, the rest of it was 249 cassettes. 190 digital downloads and 120 CDs. So that's very different to what I've been seeing. So it's interesting because we talked recently about Muse and whether it was um, from the CD generation, but you would have thought that George Michael was part of that, but obviously not. So out of 13,726 sales, 12,500 were vinyl and only 120 were CDs according to all the 15,000 outlets that make up the charts. Uh, and Roger Taylor, number 49, um, was 2,030 sales. So very different when you get to that end of the chart. Now, the kind of new releases on the nowspinning.co.uk website, I've recently posted um, news about the Humble Pie box set, which is 1970 to 1975, an eight CD box set with a hardback book. Um, the price at the moment is really high, but from what I can gather, this is a re-release of a box set that came out on vinyl and CD some time ago. So it's a repressing, but it looks fantastic. Everything's remastered, lots of rare tracks and everything. So it looks really good. Uh, other things that I've got my eye on, there's Tangerine Dream, the bootleg box, um, volume 2, which is seven CDs. When they call Dangerine Dream bootleg, the quality is usually really, really high. Uh, Bill Bruford, Earthworks, uh, Footloose uh, in New York City, two CD and DVD, 5.1 mix. Frank Zappa, Unissued, which I've mentioned before. 
um, Grateful Dead, Dick's Pigs, Volume 2. Um, John Carpenter and Cody Carpenter, Halloween Ends. Um, I love the music of John Carpenter, so that looks really good. Silverhead I mentioned last week, and that box set's due soon. And also the Cactus box set from Cherry Red, which I'm going to be reviewing when I get my hands on a copy. Um, also the Status Quo, Under the Influence, special CD, full bonuses. Leather Wolf, Kill the Hunted, which is a new album. I'm looking forward to that, because I, as you remember, uh, Leather Wolf was signed to Island Records just as the 80s metal boom was unbooming, so to speak. Um, and Bon Jovi, Keep the Faith, is going to be a special edition as well. And The Who with the Orchestra, live at Wembley. I presume that's just the usual stuff, um, but with an orchestra. I mean, rock music with orchestras always wins with me. Uh, Lee Aaron's got a new album out, Elevate, uh, as well. Uh, and also, what else is there? And Slade. Sladeist is coming out on Splatter Vinyl, um, which is good news because BMG said they were going to stop um, after um, uh, the, the live one and the, the, that, that short batch of Splatter Vinyl ones, but it looks like Sladeist is coming out. So, And that was always like a greatest hits package, but I was there at the time when it came out and I remember feeling it was like the best Slade album ever because it obviously had so many hits on, plus some of the old stuff on as well. And I think that's everything for now. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you to Andy, Clive and Chris and Yogi and all my patrons, all my supporters. It's really great to have you here. Please click subscribe and to make sure you don't miss out on any future videos. And as this video rolls out, there's lots of Jethro Tull Super Deluxe Edition videos waiting in the wings um, and to come out. And also I've got the podcast coming out with Deborah Bonham this week as well and as you've seen uh, over the past few days there's been quite a few box set action and um, videos coming out from from this channel so thanks very much stay safe keep spinning those records cds and i shall see you on my next video